political strike that could have upended a good portion of the economy has come to an end for now. Dock workers along the East Coast are heading back to work. As Doug Luzader reports, the close call underscores the uncertain role that labor may play in the election. Well, the strike ultimately lasted just three days, so the disruptions were pretty minimal. This temporary deal gets us to just early next year, but that's enough to get us through the election. You can hold off on the panic buying for now. Honking horns and cheering workers when the news broke. There is now a temporary deal for dock workers to head back to work. Very happy, very happy, and I'm so happy for them. We're all brothers and sisters here. Happy, even though nothing is really settled yet. But dock workers along the East Coast and the Gulf of Mexico could be in for about a 60% pay hike once this stopgap agreement ends early next year. In law, we say that a, that a good settlement is better than a bad trial. Well, a good pause is better than a long strike. Already, ships had been stranded offshore, and behind the scenes, the White House had worked feverishly to broker a deal. We've been working hard on it, and we just, the grace of God, the good little neighbor is going to hold. A protracted strike could have driven up prices and factored into the election. And while both Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris cheered the agreement, the labor vote this year is not a given. As former President Donald Trump said, he understood where the workers were coming from. You know, it looks like they're asking for a lot, but they're really not asking for a lot because when you look at inflation, they end up being a net negative. And it's not a given that we won't see a strike when this temporary deal comes to an end on January 15th. That is just days ahead of the presidential inauguration. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox yeah. News.